Hi, I'm Doc John from Mobility Doc, and I want to talk to you today about the Floor Angel. The Floor Angel is one of my more favorite exercises for improving shoulder mobility. Quickly correct and create more range of motion in your shoulder, especially any mobility or motion that involves you having to reach over your head. Let's go over the Floor Angel and I'll show you what you need to do in order to get the most out of this motion. You're going to go ahead and lay flat on your back with your knees bent, feet on the floor. You want to make sure that your head's nice and comfortably rested on the ground. You could use a pillow if you want. And you want to keep your pelvis set down and back. Um, don't let yourself over arch in your low back. Try to keep a nice neutral spine. You don't have to exaggerate how flat you are in your lower back, but there shouldn't be a whole lot of room and you should have um, mostly a neutral position. So don't arch. All right. Arms at your sides. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on, and I'm gonna show you just with one hand at this moment. So you're gonna focus on letting this arm track up and over your head and out while trying to keep all of this arm flat on the ground. If I just allowed myself to turn to my side, I could very easily track my arm along the floor. But when I'm flat on my back and I have both my arms down, I'm gonna start with my elbows here, make sure my, my hips are in neutral. I'm going to tuck my pelvis just a little bit and I'm going to press up and over with both arms and then I'm going to come back and in. I'm going to go ahead and do 10 of those. As I'm reaching up and at my sides or over my head rather, I'm trying to keep my forearms and my upper arm and my shoulders and my back all nice and flat on the floor. Um, I'm aware of my left side and my right side and how they feel differently as I bring my elbows into my sides and as I press my hands over my head. Now when my elbow is coming in at my side like this, at this point here, I wanna make sure I don't let my shoulders roll forward. So don't let it roll forward, keep that shoulder down and back into the ground, even as the elbows come in and then press up overhead. Now that's the most important part of this is you wanna keep a nice tucked pelvis, flat back, a little bit of a, maybe even feel a little bit of like you're doing a crunch or about to hollow and do a crunch. You wanna make sure your shoulders stay down and back on the ground. And even as your elbows come in, your shoulders are back. As I press overhead, my shoulders remain back. My hips remain in neutral and I reach up over. So I'm, you can do about 10. You can go through a couple sets or a few sets. It's okay if you do, um, if you do extra, especially if you feel like you're improving.